Welcome back. It is uh, Katie and uh, Scollin, and we are live uh, here at, uh, at the Kenyan, at the KCB uh, Kenyan Chess Open. It is a spicy one, and uh, yes, the players are just saying we are here just trying to be what we are and just to enjoy this uh, sport. Before this break, we were talking with uh, Terence, and he was telling us how the Kenyans are, are faring. In your assessment, can we compete with chess gurus or chess masters or chess internationals from other countries and maybe be able to star amongst them? Yes, actually we can. We only need to start working on our long game to instead of playing blitz. You know, we are very good blitzers, but uh, blitz means a very short game of five or three minutes. We are very good in that. But if you do the standard game, one and a half hours with 30 second increment plus 30 second, we, are, we will be able to be, have the endurance. Most Kenyans lack the endurance to for the long game. That's why they get uh, rather lost at the end of the game. But uh, if you're able to get a coach who would reduce that, I think we can fare very well because we have very intellectual guys who can actually play chess in Kenya. Now, what, what should we do so as uh, we become that good? I think uh, we need to set up camps, you know, like um, other countries, they have academies and whatnot whereby chess is the main diet nothing else so you have chess coaches for middle opening and end games and then uh, you play continuously then the more you play the better you become because it's chess is almost like a repetitive game so moves once you have a move and uh, you're a chess player it sticks in the back of mind and then you know what goes on next and then we have to l read a lot of books yeah Thank you very much. I've been talking with the arbiter and uh, he, he's saying that we can be that uh, good. Now, I'll be joined by the national uh, champion. We talk about uh, Ben Magana. He has been able to show the world that he's uh, good at this. He's been able to also show the guys in the country that he knows what he's doing because he is on uh, top there, Ben. You are doing it and you're the national champ probably. What are you expecting? Do you think that you will be able to win this uh, edition? Um, well, to be honest, it's, it's a tough one. There are about four rounds to go, so anything is possible. I'm giving it my best, yes. How has it been, your, your, your journey? Walk us through your journey for you to become the national champion. Not an easy one, but you're on top there. Yeah, so I started playing chess in primary school. I think that's the right age to start playing when you're a kid. Your mind is more flexible and you're able to learn. So I've played in junior tournaments. As I came up in university, I really improved. And I think experience coupled with hard work has helped me to get to the top. Yes. You also play in the league. And uh, I know you will be presenting your uh, team in uh, this year's edition of the league that is set to begin in April. What should we expect from your team at the same time? Well, rumor has it that KCB is the strongest club in East Africa. So we are expecting to get back the title from equity. Uh, we have quite a few good players, both from Kenya and from Uganda. And so we're going to put in everything we can so that we can get back the title. And I believe with hard work and a bit of luck, we'll manage to do that. Do you think that maybe parents are doing enough to make their, uh, their, their children actually uh, start to play this sport? What should we do so that we bring a lot of chess players on board and make uh, chess become even better in the country? Okay, right now there's a lot of chess publicity. There's a lot of chess in schools. And uh, basically I think parents are getting more aware of the game. Previously they were not aware maybe. But um, if parents can keep on exposing their kids at a young age, then I believe this is the right way to go. And there's a lot of youth activity going on. So I think we're on the right track. What do you expect from uh, this uh, uh, tournament? I know we have the juniors, we also have uh, uh, the prestige, we, are, we have the open. W what do you expect actually uh, from this tournament? Uh, and uh, how competitive are our Kenyans? Well, our Kenyans are getting more competitive. The rate of tournaments is going up. We thank the corporates that are coming in. A couple of years back, equity held a tournament. Now this year, KCB is holding a big, big Kenya Open, the biggest we've seen in I don't know how long. So I believe that with more corporates coming in and levels of exposure um, rising, then um, chess is on the up and up in Kenya. Yes. 
Thank you very much and all the best uh, in your game. Thank you so much. He's playing it, he's the national uh, champion there and he's saying that uh, Kenyans are doing what they uh, need uh, to do. A lot is expected actually uh, from uh, the Kenyans uh, uh, team, but when you nurture that uh, talent at a tender age, maybe things might always uh, go your way. Now, let's talk about uh, Starlets. A lot is expected from uh, the Starlets. You talk about a team that they're saying that uh, they are optimistic, that are also very, very able to go out there and be able to rag some impressive uh, points. The Kenyan uh, team is camping, and they're saying that we want to rack in those uh, points. We want to get that much-needed victory as we prepare for the outcome. Listen in what the tactician himself had to say at the same uh, time. Akida, who's back on that squad. You realize the, some of the areas that you want to work with ahead of the Zamb Zambian game. The situation is, of course, uh, the tactical influence in the game, especially working through the wide areas. This is something that I'm working in because in the game against Zambia, we developed uh, the crosses from the wide areas and uh, it resulted to the penalty. So for me, as a coach, I think we need to be more precise in terms of uh, delivering the cross balls in, in this particular game because we'll be playing at home. So we like to take all the full uh, advantage in terms of uh, uh, controlling the game and this is uh, something essential because as a coach I know if we control the game then we have all the possibilities to win this match against Uganda on Wednesday. I think for AC, uh, she got a knock ahead of the Zambian uh, friendly match. And of course, uh, of, uh, the, the situation can always have to happen to any of the players. So for us, uh, at this moment, uh, I've been consulting with the doctors about uh, the progress of AC uh, in, in, in injury. And at the moment, she's recovering uh, well. The only situation is that we have to uh, really get a clean bill of health from the doctors. But at the moment, she's trying to fight in to see the possibility if she can uh, form in the squad. But at the moment, is she, we are just uh, positive that uh, he, she can uh, manage to shake off the injury. You know, I'm from an injury and I'm still recovering. And I can say I'm, I'm quite ready, not 100% because I'm still, the coach is still, um, my injury is still monitored. And, but more so I'm looking forward to grace that match, hopefully, and good willing. Good willing, I can say somehow, because we have a good record with Uganda. We played them twice and we've beaten them 4-4. I can say it's a 50-50 thing though. Moral ya team iko juu. Ah kitu ya kwanza hiyo friendly yenye tuliweza kucheza tuliweza kushinda na ile imeweza kutupatia moral. Na ambapo game yetu ya kwanza tunacheza home. Tuna expect ushindi na tuko positive. Kwa sababu, kwa sababu tunapiga, tuna, tuna, tuna do our best. Yeah. Uh, motivation na ezo sema pia iko poa. Juu, so far, federation imeza kutu support. Na imeza pia kutupatia enough time ya kuprepare kwa camp. Ambapo tutapata ushindi na tutapata success. Yes, today we are talking about chess and a lot is expected from the Kenyan players. But... Today I know I'm struggling because I'm trying to re be reducing my voice the way I can. I know it's a big challenge, maybe a distraction to, to the players, but today I will be forgiven to that. Now let's talk about uh, football. Madari United yesterday, they were in action against uh, Chemilil. And when you talk about Madari United, they started their season with a bang. Talk about the beauty of a goal. They have that experience at the same time. They have the young talent that has been able to show that they can dance against the Kenyan bigwigs. It matters to do with soccer. Against Chemilil, it was an impressive one nil victory. Take a look what transpired in that game. No, we take game by game. There is no, we can say, pressure. Uh, still, uh, the league is still young. Uh, we always tackle our matches at home. And uh, if we get good results at home, then uh, maybe we can put the pressure until the end of the season. It's a thump up to them. And I think we'll pick from there. You know what? There's a, 
there are th three results. You win, you draw, or you lose. Mm. We've lost at the final end. We've taken it. We're going to organize ourselves back to see how we can win our home match against Stika. Yes, a beauty of a goal there, it was a scored and uh, Mathari United is saying that we will try as much as possible to be as impressive as we can. Now let's take a look at other fixtures that will be played today because we have a host of matches that will be highlighting that soccer menu. You talk about Poster Rangers. Poster Rangers have a tie against Thika United and for Poster Rangers, the season has not been that well, but they will try as much as possible to be as impressive as they can. Talk about Gormaya. Gormaya on the other side, they will be playing against Vihiga United. And for Gormaya, they are the defending champions. They know how to dance against the Kenyan local football lovers. But for them, they are trying to be as impressive as they can in matters to do with their tie. Kakamega Homeboys will be at home playing against Bandari. And when you talk about Kakamega Homeboys, they are, uh, they are captain, actually. And remember what uh, at the same time Situma said, that they want the issues in regards to do with the sponsorship be sorted out in good time because the players are suffering. Zoya Sugar will also be out there against Sony Sugar. That's a derby of sorts because the Millers will be trying as much as possible to see what will happen. Karibangi Sharks will be, will be welcoming Ulinzi Stars and for Karibangi Sharks and Ulinzi Stars the two sides actually have a history because they know how to play against each other and when they do every time goals are expected to be scored. Now let's talk about a different game that will be played that is on Monday. On Monday it is all about Kericho, that is Zu Kericho who have a date against Wazito. Wazito came in the league, they're saying this is our first time in this league, we're trying as much as possible to be as impressive as we can but they are flattered, they never started that well, but you never know, maybe it will be their day against uh, 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 Zu Kericho. Tasca will be playing against FC Lepers. You talk about a wounded uh, big cut. The FC Lepers, they always know how to make those huge statements, but you never know, against uh, Tasca, one will argue the biggest uh, game for this uh, for, for this actually uh, season, but it will be uh, played on Monday. Anything can happen in that game. We just wait and see what will transpire.